Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. I've been preaching a lot today. We're opening the phones up. We'll take a lot of those calls. And I will get to a whole passel of news like justice in Missouri burned down the town. Former FDA official warns of spooky scenarios if Ebola hits U.S. Special report, back to school, mind control exposed. Kill switch smartphone bill passes in California. That's big. I'm going to break that down. Video, cop aims gun at local officials as Ferguson resembles war zone. Rancher says wild hogs are eating remains of illegal aliens. Ukraine accuses Russia of attempting false flag. Ferguson is a perfect example of how quickly the streets of America descend into chaos. That's some of the articles up on Infowars.com. Let's go to your phone calls. Josh in Missouri, talking about the riots, day three of those. Hopefully they're simmering down now after the mother of the young black man who was killed calls for peace, which is a classy thing for her to do. Josh, go ahead. Uh, you're on the air. Hi, Alex. How are you doing today? Doing all right, brother. Thanks for calling. Um, I just wanted to let you know that on Craigslist, they were sending out ads to tell people to come help them loot on Sunday night. And then... Um, Is that mainstream news, I or did you find that yourself? Because I want to do an article on that. No, that's not mainstream news yet. My dad, uh, we're from around North County, right near Ferguson. And, uh, he, you know, we all work around here. And he was out with a customer, and they were telling him, look on Craigslist. And we went, and sure enough, it was there. All right, do me a favor. Uh, Will you send show tips at Infowars.com uh, those links for Ferguson looting since you had them? Uh, I want to get one of our writers to do a story on that. That, that. that is very interesting to show that it was premeditated. We have a clip of a guy up on Infowars.com saying this is how we protest, we loot. And it's just an excuse for the criminal element to run around and act like a bunch of idiots. And again, the, the, as I've said, the power structure is going to use looting in this country with the welfare class as a pretext to bring total control in. What else did you observe? Hello. Yes, sir, go ahead, Josh. Oh, uh, and I just want to let you know, it should not be about race because we are the human race. And that's, you know, the main topic we should be talking about. And you exposed that so well, Alex, and I amend you. And we should amend, or we should be applauding what the uh, mother of the son that was killed you know, had come out and said, and we also should come out and say, I'm mad as hell and we're not going to take this no more because the globalists are running it all like you're, you know, great, you know, broadcast you're having today because you're exposing exactly what's going on. I mean, from H.G. Wells to Edward Bernays to, to it's all, it's been controlled for so long. And, and they you're, think the public's so stupid and they've successfully dumbed people down so that we fit into this paradigm where they're the elitist the Morlocks, and we're the Eloy, and I'm saying we need a revolt of the Eloy intellectually because freedom is sexy. We need to sell that idea to everyone instead of the tyranny they're selling us as utopia. Thank you, Josh. Great points. Listening on the free iPhone app. Uh, let's talk to Mary in New Jersey. You're on the air. Hi. Hi, uh, Alex. I wanted to talk about two things. The young man that was killed in Missouri and also... I wanted to mention quickly something about Dr. Oz. So um, about a month and a half ago, um, Dr. Oz was called in front of the Senate, and they scolded him like a little kid because he has exposed on his show, uh, like, uh, fire retardant, how it doesn't really stop fires. It really just is toxic. Um, yeah, no, Dr. You know what, stay there. I want to come back to you after the break. I don't want to cut you short. I don't watch a lot of mainline TV, but I see the boil downs of it on YouTube. And Dr. Oz has covered vaccines hurting people. He's covered GMO being bad and some other stuff. They've come after him. And so I've been told by folks that know him and have been interviewed by him, he's now backed off. And so that's an example of how there are people that are good overall and really want to warn people, but aren't allowed to. Kind of like that CBS reporter.
who exposed Fast and Furious and so many other things, and Obamacare and got forced out. We'll be back. Sierra, ladies and gentlemen. And, of course, that whole thing with her saying she liked George Bush and he was better than Obama and Obama saying he's mad at her and MSNBC talking about it with Axelrod interviewing him, his former mentor. It's all distancing herself from the administration she runs with Bill. Total smoke and mirrors. Look, hotels are introducing robot butlers. Again, the replacement of humanity is moving ahead at full steam ahead. That's some of the news up on DrudgeReport.com. A lot of it's also up on Infowars.com. You know, we redesigned Infowars.com a few months ago and a more, even more modern versions coming in a few months. Uh, but in the interim, we went to a new design where the whole bottom half has breaking news in a bigger and better format and a lot of new features. So be sure and check out not just the top of Infowars.com. Be sure and scroll down into all of the other news uh, that is there on the site and all the different uh, apps and free podcasts and uh, political cartoons and so much more that is online at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And please don't forget the globalists are working around the clock to try to block us and censor us and keep us off military bases and government computers and library computers and Amtrak wireless networks to keep you from this information for a reason. We're going to talk about that at the bottom of the hour. Kill switch smartphone bill passes in California and that dovetails with the rise of the robots in an episode in 1998 of Sworn to Secrecy the Panama invasion that we finally found the clip of. I'll tie it all together at the bottom of the hour. Let's go to Mary in New Jersey. She held over from the last segment. She was bringing up Dr. Oz in Congress. I heard he got chewed out in testimony, but I didn't see it. He did cover some GMO vaccine dangers. And I was told by insiders that were guests and also someone that works with him that they did get threatened and got heat on them, just like Ventura's show did. And he basically sings a more pro-establishment tune. But see, the fact that he's backed off now under pressure, I at least know secretly he cares about people. What really makes me sick is people that hate those of us that are trying to warn folks about GMO and fluoride and the rest of it. And then, and, and then know that they're lying to people and then, and then hate us and choose to go with the establishment and then don't give their kids GMO and don't drink fluoride water. I had the state attorney on for Maryland about eight years ago. It was all over CNN, you name it. Remember when they had thousands of kids lined up with police dogs barking and riot police in a predominantly black area of, of um, it was Baltimore, Maryland, not, not Philadelphia. It was Baltimore, Maryland. And, it, and, it was, it, and the story got real big and parents were going to protest. So SWAT teams came and, 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 and riot cops and, Dogs barking, and then they were on the news saying, it's the law, you'll be arrested, give them the shot. And I had him on, and I said, you know, you're tricking people. There's a waiver, and that's not even for a law. And you're kicking them out of school, then letting truancy kick in, and that's how you arrest them. But truancy under Maryland law isn't applicable because uh, it's the school that kicks them out for a policy, not a law. So you really can't trigger the criminal charges. And he said, man, you ought to be a lawyer. He said, man, you ought to be a lawyer. You're right. He goes, ha, we even have the waiver forms up there on the judge's desk in case somebody figures it out and demands one, but they never do. He was a black guy. Years ago, I talked about it. We found the clip again and played it. It's just stunning. It's one of those things where, and I go, let me ask you a question. Do you vaccinate your kids? He goes, no, I sure don't. Started laughing. And I went, you just fool people, don't you? And he said, I just do my job. He doesn't give his kids vaccines. Think about that. Let that sink in. They get up there, regardless of what you think about the vaccines, and they fool everybody and tell you it's the law. There is no law. That's called an organized criminal conspiracy or racketeering. 
Uh, Mary, tell me about the Dr. Oz grilling that you mentioned uh, in Congress. Go ahead. Okay. Um, well, first of all, I, ha I, I do know him. He I worked with him since 94. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I was mentioning... Yeah, no, I mean, I was mentioning folks that I knew that knew him. I didn't know you knew him. Go ahead. Yeah, I know him, and it's very unfair. I hate the show. He was exposing things like the uh, chicken being sent off to China for pro just like you do. And he, he was shocked at finding some of these things. And he does recommend natural products. He gets other doctors on there. He's one of the best cardiothoracic surgeons in the world. He, he's not um, he's not an internist, but he's interested in this stuff himself. So he gets people on there that do studies. So one of the things the FDA and some big company 